line to the front door. I've got active fire through the roof on the Charlie's end. I only got Carlson, so if you want me to go with primary Both with of you, two? go with him, yeah. Two men come, one also. We have a hydrant about 50 feet from engine two here on the hill. Unknown if it's a good one or not. Copy. Engine 10, direct. Give me a water supply. It's just to the north of engine 2. Engine 10 direct. We'll hand check that line for engine 2. Engine 7, need you set up for risk, please. Go to TAC 3, channel 16, TAC 3 on arrival. Water. 
Alright, let's get you guys on the attack. Okay. Primary attack. Rescue 10, get a secondary line to the door. Yep. Got it. Started from a barbecue Rescue grill. Rescue doing the second, huh? Second line on the outside. There's a lot of fire on the outside. Okay. Barbecue grill is where it started. All, All right. the fires on the Charlie side. Is it burning across the roots? We got anything on the inside, or is it just burning on it's, the roof? It's in the inside. It's in the attic space now. Okay. I told Tony if it looks froggy in there, get the fuck out. All right. And I was calling in what the windows. What about the three we had? Okay. So. All right, we got a line going in. Let's go with him. You guys on a primary. Me with who? You and oh, you got your engineer. Yeah. Take your. Your rescue's already in? Rescue's inside All on right. a hose line for their protection. Okay. But we do need All a right. line on the other side because it's burning hot and there's an exposure. All right. They're taking the second line now. What's that? They're taking the second line now. We're your third rescue chief. Okay. You guys are my rescue. Sound back? I'm going to go yeah. meet up with Tony and him on the inside. That's I don't fine. Like I want you inside. Yes. Eyes up. Rescue two, command. Can report. What's up, gentlemen? What's the, any people inside? Uh, we're still finishing our primary search, but we don't believe anybody's inside. Oh. We had a report of three to start with, and from some of the bystanders, there weren't any, and then, like I said, I've got crews inside. We got the police to the back, trying to cool and keep it off the structure to the east. Uh, we also got two units inside the building, but uh, there's nothing missing inside here. Uh, on the Delta side. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it sounds like it's building pressure. Copy. Right, let's make sure we've got propane off. This could be a propane area, not natural gas. We have a visual on the propane tank that's on the west side. We have that under control. Uh, I just can't identify what that noise is. Copy. Do we need to evacuate any of the people next? No, nah, we should be good. We got a handle on it. They're holding it on the other side now. So, just uh, if we can keep them out of the smoke, they shouldn't be standing in the smoke yes, there. That's obviously. <laughs> All units, I've got increasing fire on the roof on the Charlie Delta.
Copy. Rescue 2, command. Go ahead for Rescue 2. Conditions. Barely able to get about two feet inside the front of the, the front door. We got that hissing stop to that loud train noise. We're trying to assess from there, Chief. We're unable to get in any further at this time. Primary search. Has not been completed. Has not been completed. Copy. with the winds we have. What are we, holy shit? Yeah. It's Roger that. burning the cooler off. Okay. I was trying to pull ceiling inside. They have a corrugated metal flat roof under that. Under the pitch? I couldn't pitch. I couldn't pull. Okay. What if we get a saw on this gable end? Engine 10, we're still on the Charlie side. Um, we got a heavy fire coming through the Bravo Charlie corner. We're going to move back around and uh, start putting that out too. We have a positive collapse in uh, Bravo Charlie. Copy. Rescue 2. They're Exit. Out. They're out. Can we get a uh, ladder on the gable end, cut a hole, and start spraying the attic? Yeah. I'll have good. Rescue 2 do that. Rescue 2, we've had a collapse and need you to evacuate. We'll, all units will be going defensive on this fire at this time. Copy direct, Rescue 2 evac. Ammunition on the Charlie Delta corner. Our control battalion two. I see you going, sir. This time we've had a partial roof collapse. We'll be going defensive. Sir, partial roof collapse, going defensive.
So if we can get a bigger line on it and go, if we can drown it from the top. 10-4, we're in a better position now. We're getting that Bravo Charlie room out. Yeah, Mark. I got, uh, yeah, I got three rescues. Three engines, three rescues. Uh, the problem is it's like a trailer with a corrugated roof that they put a pitch on top of it and then started on the Charlie side with a barbecue grill looks like ran up in the roof now it's run across to the cooler so we're we had a little bit of partial roof collapse already we're doing the best we can with it from here yeah plus I got about 30 mile an hour winds so <laughs> uh, none that we found so far it was reported there was three. Uh, we were unable to complete a primary due to crap inside before we got to it. So uh, now we're trying to get a hole in the gable end so we can shoot straight through it and, and uh, possibly put the, the void space in the attic out. It's just going to be ugly. <laughs> yep. So. I did hear you. Thank you. I've got uh, station 10, station 2, and station 7 complete, plus the medcom. One, three, and five are available to you. Okay. All right. Bye bye.